Tour and I'm back finally with my ARC planner video. Sorry it's taken so long. I thought I would maybe do more with this planner, but the cool thing about making a planner on your own is you really find out what pieces work for you and what you use a planner for. So I kind of reinforced what I already know about my planning styles and that's cool. That works for me. So a little bit of an introduction. I don't have a Staples in my town, so I had to order this Martha Stewart styled ARC disc bound notebook from the online store. Um, if you're new to ARC planners or ARC notebooks, they're basically a plain notebook and these discs here are almost like a three ring binder. Um, the punch is quite unique, so pages can come in and out you can edit it, it's very flexible with what you can do with it because of the special punch, but it's just not as bulky and not the same style as a binder would be. So it's not essentially a plan, it wasn't a planner when I got it, it was just a fancy notebook pretty much. Um, I've heard slash seen that you can customize these discs, they're getting kind of scratched up but I don't mind, this is just what it came with. So that's that. Um, I don't remember pricing exactly, but I will definitely link what I can down below. So this was is the Martha Stewart Signature Colors, as you probably can tell. Um, this beautiful Tiffany's Robin Eggs Blue kind of color. And this is like the larger size of the, of the disc bound notebooks. Um, so like it's bigger than an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper. So it's, it can accommodate that and the pages don't get crinkled but it's, you know, standard notebook size, I would say. So the pages aren't right at the end of the notebook either. So this little baby, this was only like, I think it was under $20. And I'll go on into what it came with. But the big whammy where you have to spend the money is the actual paper punch, which looks <laughs> like quite the contraption, and it is. It's really super heavy. Um, this thing is $42, if I can remember correctly. $42.50, something like that. $50 for the punch compared to, you know, $20 for the notebook. So when you're using this planner, you're kind of committing. It's up there with, you know, Erin Condren and that sort of thing when you put all of this together. Uh, I decided I would just be, you know, making my own monthly and daily pages. So I was like, it's not that expensive, but us planner freaks, us planner lovers, Typically, don't mind. Some of us might try to find a deal, but I'm just I love if I love it, I want to try it. I'm gonna get it. I'm impulsive. I'm sorry. So that was that ain't no thing. I was really excited to pick up this planner and try it and see what works for me. And as I mentioned before, I kind of just affirmed, confirmed what I knew about my planning style. So that's kind of the pricing breakdown. The notebook really isn't too much, and especially if you're going to make your own inserts, which I tried and the paper punch is where th this will cost you money to use the system. Um, the punch though, I think you would only need one size even if you got the the smaller disc bound notebook as I can see here, sorry this is super dusty, you know it reads A5 junior letter A4, I don't know how to adjust this myself, I've never had to, I assume it's this little thing here which I don't want to move, um, but you can adjust it to whichever size you're using. Alrighty, so <clears throat> like I said, this didn't come with much. To make it a planner, I really had to make it my own, but it comes, you know, the discs are already set up. You don't have to assemble it yourself. Um, it has this nice elastic on the side, so that keeps everything tidy. Here, why don't I take you down for a minute? So we've got a, a folder, a, a flap here. That's the same material as the front, kind of a, I don't know, vinyl maybe? It's got three slots, which I never use for anything. I have put my teardrops in there before, but they end up just getting kind of floppy, so I just stick everything behind this little pouch. It also came with a uh, clear folder, which uh, has come in great handy. I believe it came with this. This could have been an add-on, I'm sorry. Why am I the worst? This could have been an add-on, but I don't believe it was. There's a few pages that come with the ARC planner, so this belongs to personal information. Um, 
holidays convert oh, excuse me conversions a ruler which is cute I forget it's there though and that's pretty much it besides maybe 50 or so pages of just lined kind of fancy notebook paper sorry I don't have a super nice camera to show you this but yep just lined bent lined paper so that's really all I ordered um, it does have a pen flap in the back here that I never use but you totally can so that's really the anatomy of it, which isn't much on its own. So like I said, I wanted to get this planner so I could kind of see what it takes to make my own and customize it. So let me just take you through what is my art planner. Opening it up, like I showed you before, I don't put anything in these slots, but I do carry around a few knickknacks. Um, I carry, oh, excuse me. The Martha Stewart teardrops for a little decor. I do carry the bigger sticky notes. Um, typically when I use these I'm making some sort of grocery list, not not really a note to self, so but it works for that too. I just prefer to have this bigger size on hand. And then I have almost, you know, just a smaller notebook, a Moleskine with lined paper that really doesn't need to be in there, but but it is. We collect things, you know. In the very front, I have my to-do list, which I have been doing at least the last two to three years. Did I start YouTube a year ago? I don't even know now, but I've, I've showed this system before, and I'll kind of take you through at the end because I'm already in the process of making a to-do list for next week. But this is my to-do list for the week or for four to five days. And I can link my old video below as well. Typically it's color coordinated, goes by class and certain assignments. So that is like my reference for the whole week. That's why it's in front. Then I have my name on the top. Um, I just have some homework. So this is that um, clear folder in which I keep a lot of handouts, anything that I might need for class. Um, things to hand in. I like to keep that there and here's you know a, a list that I have That I'm checking things off of Got the title page this belongs to like I mentioned we've got personal oh geez personal reference pages um, They do have wow four years out so 2013 2014 2015 2016 beautiful am I boring you? I'm sorry special dates. I'm I just never use any of this so then we get to what I have created, which I guess I've been using this since May, so all summer I've gotten to see how this works for me. The two components to a planner that I need while I'm in school are lined notebook paper to make my very standard to-do list and a monthly planner. I will show you, I have daily pages in here and I've had weekly before and that just doesn't seem to work for me. I can't really take it a day at a time like that. I freak out too much. I need to see what do I have coming this week, <laughs> which doesn't really make sense. I know, but that's just how my brain works. Um, and I, I like to see it how I've laid it out, not necessarily day by day by day. I like to see it. I can't explain it, but um, I guess the weekly calendars haven't really worked for me either, how they've been set up so far. So anyways, I've got a daily calendar which I chose to start the week with Monday um, and have a little note section just for ease of making this for myself. I'm really not that tech savvy and I don't have like a Photoshop or anything like that. So <laughs> this is the bare minimum um, layout for a monthly calendar and I just took it upon myself to decorate with washi when needed and when possible. If we skip through to um, this month, I color code, I always have. That seems to work for me as far as a monthly calendar. I um, can get into these dividers in a moment, but um, red I use for school organizations. Anything that is black highlighted, yellow are assignments or school requirements. 
Um, I put more fun things, exercise in the blue washi. I have work, two different uh, schedule, work schedules to accommodate, so those are in different colors. Payments, bills, anything like that. Rent is in green. I try to check off the days so my eyes can just kind of go to the date and I can see how much I've already been through and just what I need to focus on. So, um, that's that. I put the more fun things in washi and I have my color coding system for the rest. I am currently using friction pens, which I can link my review below on those. Um, they seem to work for me. When I went back to a paper planner, that was my one pet peeve is whiting out. That I have a major issue with that. <laughs> so, uh, the friction pens have been a lifesaver. They've been awesome. So then, after having this notebook for a few months, I took it upon myself to make some dividers, which they're getting a little haggard now, but that's the beauty of it, I guess, is I can always make others. So I just cut out, measured and cut out a piece of scrapbook paper, laminated it by <laughs> sticking a bunch of um, like packing tape on it. Um, so there, it's thicker paper and now it's laminated with um, tape. And I just used my handy dandy big old punch and it fits in there like magic. So that's, that's how the arc works, is these little teeth, if you will, um, this little slot allows the movement onto the disc and then the shape there will kind of lock it in. Um, so it's, it's very easy to remove and put things in. I try not to move these actual more fragile papers too much. I don't want them to become too loose in the system. So I try not to move those as often. I still have a daily calendar. And let me tell you right now, I'm just going to rip this out right now. Because I rarely, rarely, rarely <laughs> use this. I have printed off. Uh, monthly calendars through December. Um, the trend I have with planners is I usually get a new one every six months, so I don't know if I'll be using this then, but it's a waste of paper, but I'm just going to go ahead and pull these out because I do not use a daily planner. I tried. Let me show you what I tried to do. I have the date on the top. I have a don't forget memo currently reading. That was during the summer. I can hardly ever read in my free time now. I liked how um, the Erin Condren had the day split up, morning, afternoon, and night, because when it's hard to have everything teed out to an exact time by hour for most days for me. Unless I'm extremely busy that week, that really isn't beneficial to me, so I kind of like having a range of times that I can do things, but that's just irrelevant now. I just, I, I don't really function that way not working while I'm in school. I tried to meal plan. That didn't really work either. Tried to write down exercise. The one thing that was helpful for a while was writing down my money and now I finally have my money right and so it's not much of a concern anymore. So bye bye. Then I have a list section. Lists. Oh and these were just stickers from the scrapbook store. Um, some YouTube videos that you request. I have things that like a perpetual to-do list, things that I could be doing if I ever get a free moment. <sighs> Laughable, I know. I wanted to get a craft cart, hasn't happened, got my money right like I said. Um, some a few books that I read this summer. Uh, other things for school and then I just have this paper in the back. Um, I do have a few handouts and things, miscellaneous as it reads at the top. This is for cancer, that sort of thing. So actually, I will go through this system quickly, briefly right now because I have made a video on this before. But um, so this is really the main planning component of my organization. Monthly calendars keep the dates for me, keep the deadlines, um, organize the schedule. But as for to-do lists, for keeping on task for school, I use this grand to-do list. So what I do is I'm creating mine on the right here for this weekend slash this, the beginning of the week. And this has been last week's. The week before I was so busy I didn't even hardly have one. I just, I didn't, I really didn't get a lot done. Regardless. Um, 
I break it down into classes. So I do the same thing every, every time. I pretty much transferred the titles from this page to this page, which read renal management, public health, neuropsych, lab in the lecture, IPPE3, stress management, school organizations I'm in, and lastly, just kind of random to-dos that, um, just random to-dos. Um, what doesn't go on this are perpetual tasks, if you could call it, or daily tasks, something that I need to do every day. So, like, check emails. I need to do maintenance on my emails every day, so... It's not really something I write down to cross off because I'd have to keep writing it and keep crossing it off. This is for more tasks that are one and done. If it's something I need to do daily, it's mostly just a part of my routine and that's how I view it and that's I usually remember that. Um, so, as for renal, I kind of digest what's coming up for the week. So, I had, I'm going back to 918, like I said, didn't get a lot done last weekend. So I transfer anything I can from this list that I didn't get done that's not crossed off over to this list, and I'll do that now. All right, so I feel as if I've transferred everything from this list that I didn't get completed onto this list, and this one got quite messy. It's been a crazy two weeks, um, but I usually write as neat as I can because I'm looking at it for a few days, and you know how it is if you write sloppy and you're sick of looking at something. So um, I can kind of just get rid of that once that's happening and then I flip to my monthly and look at the week ahead and see what I have to plan for so scholarships I have a non sterile study guide do already have that on there um, meeting with Sam I have to read about calcium so I'm gonna add that to my to-do list that wasn't previously on there and I can just write it's weird to look through this and write I don't like it <laughs> all right um not much on tuesday i get paid wednesday yay wow this may be a pretty darn good week oh no okay first exam yep but i've got my study guide ready to go for that well i should make an agenda for the meeting so i've got to get that down on this paper Dentist appointment. Wow, I have a pretty darn good week. I should not complain and I should be able to get a lot done. Oh, I did miss phosphorus reading there. So I better get that done as well. So if anything comes up during the week, I will add it, but but that's kind of what I do. I look ahead to the week, see if there's anything I should take from there. And then lastly, I would go onto my iPad or computer and check the um, any announcements that my teachers have made and see if I missed something and add it to the list. So this might look like a lot, but it is for the whole week and it's things that I can be working on. So if I'm like, oh, I don't think I have anything to do tonight. I do, and it's one place to look. It's not really looking at my um, calendar and thinking, oh, this isn't due until next week. It's kind of like, it's due next week, but I should do it now. It's on the list. I should try to get it done now. So from this point, depending on how much time I'd like to waste, I can color code it from here. Um, in the past, I've used highlighters, and what I'll do is I will write, like for instance, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and I'll highlight each of them a different color and then go through and highlight the tasks I should get done today um, according to due dates and then maybe tomorrow I would highlight those so that you know if pink is associated with today I only need to look at the pink items and that's my focus to get done. I've explained it before I'll put that video below. Um, so I'm pretty sure I've said this a few times but the most important components of a planner to me are <laughs> notebook paper so I can do this and a monthly to-do list. I'm really not into the daily or the weekly layout. I just don't find much use for it. I've tried in the past, I've tried many different planners and it seems that I keep coming back to this, especially during the school year. Um, in the summer when I'm working, I really function off of just a, um, just a 
monthly planner and maybe a sticky note of things I'd like to do that week or that day. Um, I, I find myself having a little tr more trouble in the summer, which is kind of weird because um, I don't have as much structure. I don't have things that are due in my anxiousness. I feel like I should be doing something. I'm getting a little long-winded. Anyways, I hope this was fun for you. I feel like the more I do YouTube, the worse I get at it. I feel like my first Filofax video, I hit it out of the park, and now I'm struggling here. So um, I hope I explained this well. I regret putting this off because it really wasn't as magical as I thought it would be, but that's kind of the fun of it, is I tried making a planner on my own, and I really did discover what works for me. So please let me know what's good for you, um, if any of these tips were helpful, how I can... Um, help you in the future, any videos you would also like to see. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.